Hello and welcome to the demo of Test Suites. Today I want to show you my new no-code automation tool and I'll do that by just automating a basic flow that you'll find probably in the apps that you are using. What we'll do is we'll log in and once we are logged in we will get this permission request where they need our location. We'll accept that and then we have a scroll view on this view over there and on this tab we have a button that if you tap it, it adds a to-do with a number on it. Obviously not a big application, but it'll cover a lot of the functionality that you need to see when you are automating your own apps. So test suites is split into two parts. The first part is telling test suites which parts of the, the app you want to interact with. And the second part is writing the test cases. And on this view, there's basically only three parts that we want to interact with. It is our our email field, our password field, and then our login button. So with test suites, you'll see that there's this new set of tools that you can use where you can add different types of interaction points on screen. There's three different types that we have, touchable, scrollable, and input. So in our case, we want to have an input widget at that point, which we'll call login email field. Once that's saved, we'll add another input widget called login password field and the last thing we want to do is add a touchable for the login button i'm just going to collapse that and we're going to call this login main button and on the permissions view the only thing we actually want to interact with is the grant permissions button so i'm going to add a touchable point on that button and i'm going to call this permission grant button and when we go to the next view i'm going to scroll on the horizontal scroll view so I'll add a scroll point there and call this main horizontal scroll and i also want to tap on this bottom navigation item so that i can swap between that so i'll add a touchable this point called main bottom nav to do item and then when we go to this view i want to also add a touchable on the floating action button which we will call main to do floating action button and that's the first part of the test suites user experience done We've now told it everything that we want to interact with, and now we can move on to writing the tests. It's gonna move this over here, and I will open up test suites. When you open a project, you'll see that on the left side, you have your project settings. This is where you'll get the ID that you need to integrate with test suites. And you also have the interaction points. This will be all the interactions that we just captured. Now, as you write tests, it's split up into two parts. You have your test suites, which can contain a number of test cases. So in this case, we're going to start by creating our first test suite, which will be authentication. And this will be all auth related functionality in the app. The first test case we'll add is login with valid credentials. Right. So the nice thing about test suites is that it doesn't only control the code. You can actually control the device as well. So in our case, we want to do a fresh install, which is to uninstall the app first and then install a new one so that all cache data is also cleared. Then we want to open the application. And I usually wait for the initial view. So I do a wait for views just to make sure that the app is doing what's expected. Now, as you can remember on this view, what we have is only three points. We have our input fields and our button. So we want to input in the email field, the email dane at foldstacks.com. We also want to input in the password field, password one, two, three. And then the last thing we want to do is just tap on the login main button. At this point, you can now select the APK for your app and you can select the device to run it on. And we're just going to run this so that you can see that it works. And then we'll continue and automate the rest of the flows that I showed earlier. So 
As we run, you'll see that it uninstalled the app first and then installed it. It's going to go through, do all the inputs as you see the test has passed already. And so one thing that I would like to add in this case is actually to, at the end of this test, I want to wait for the media permissions view. And now what should happen is when we run this, until we get that media permissions view, that last step should be yellow, like you can see there. And as soon as we get to that view, it'll pass. So that's our first test case that passes. I know it's super easy and we did that in just a few minutes um, without adding any code, which is obviously awesome. Um, so we'll just move on to the next test case, which is basically this view. Um, I'm going to create a new test suite and this I'll just call main functionality. This will be all functionality that the app provides. For the first test in this test case, you can assume that you are on this view because that's where the previous test will leave you. So in our case, what we'll do is we are going to accept location permissions should pass. On this one, it's going to be super basic. We're going to tap on the permission grant button. We don't have the functionality to accept a permission dialog yet. We'll be adding that very soon. It is on our roadmap. But what we have at the moment, and, and this has been working for a lot of teams, is we have a take manual input command. What that does is it'll pause test suites, allow you to interact with the app. And when you are done, you can either pass or fail that test step. And you'll see that working in action now. So I'm going to save this so you can just see how that works. And I'm going to run this test. And what you should see now is after we get through the login view, once we get to the other part, it's going to tap. And now we see on the left side here that there is the dialogue that popped up. And on the right side, you'll see that we have our fail and our continue button. So what I'm going to do on this side is I'm going to click the button and then I'm going to continue this test and it will go through. So you can imagine that as testers, or automating the test cases, they could get to like 95% of their work fully automated without writing any code. We are going to add the functionality to accept that automatically. Now we are at this view. And the next thing that we want to do is I want to show you the scroll functionality, then just show you how to expect text after you've done something. Our next test case, what we'll do is we'll say scroll until is on till three item visible. So we know that we are ending on the main view. So at this point we can do scroll main horizontal scroll view. We're gonna scroll left and we're gonna scroll by 600. And then I'm gonna expect text horizontal three. Zero, one, two, three, yeah. That'll be the test case I add for that. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to run this again. It's going to go through, add those things in there for us. It's going to wait for us to accept that, which we'll do. We will continue. It's going to scroll and it finds the horizontal three text right over here, as you can see. And so that test passes. And so our last test in our automation flow, we want to tap on this button. And then I want to tap this button maybe three times and then just check that all of those to do's are there. So this is how we'll do that. Tapping to do add should add more to do's. <laughs> right? That's a very basic test, but you can kind of see a power in the automation. So that's going to be the test case that we want to do. The first thing that I'm going to do is tap on the main bottom nav to do item that'll get us to this view that you're seeing on the left now. And then when I'm on this view, I'm going to tap on the main to do fab button. Now at this point, I'm going to add an expect text and I'm going to check that there's to do zero in there. Then I'm just going to repeat this and save that. So now when we run this, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the playback a little bit slower so that you can kind of see everything that's happening. I'm going to make it, give it a, a half a second pause. And when I go back to the project, when I run this, 
you'll now be able to see all these tests go through and enter the details as you are going through. So you'll see those things go in. Gives me time to swap over as well. Cool, we'll give it access, continue. It should scroll, get through. Um, yeah, so if you are watching this demo video, we are offering a free 30 minute automation integration and test writing session with test suites. So you can go to the form that's linked with this and you can submit your team details. I will get on a call with you. We will set up the test suites project. You'll get a 30 day free trial and we'll automate some of your user journeys on that call together. So I hope to see a lot of you guys submitting to the forms and I look forward to integrating this into your code base and seeing how you guys use test suites. Thank you for watching and I'll chat to you soon.